swift to hear and slow to speak. You do not want to speak so much that you are angered and that you don't control your emotion, your speech and your words and your thoughts. You have to first separate yourself from sin and then you have to receive the Word of God. If you listen to the Word of God, if you receive it and apply it in your life, you will be producing the righteousness of God. Hello, welcome to The Good News, a production of CMP Ministries. I'm your host and speaker, Benoit Van Lesberg, and I want to invite you to open your Bible and hear what the Lord has to say to us today. At the end of this broadcast, you will receive information on how to contact us. But right now, I pray that God will bless His Word. Chapter 1, we will read from verse 19 to 25. James chapter 1, verse 19 to 25. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearer only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer of the word, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Today, we will talk about the righteousness of God. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you and praise you because you have a perfect plan for our lives, and our life is to glorify you.
We thank you for your word because your word tells us how we can live so that we will glorify you. And today we want to spend some time to meditate and read and hear from you so that our lives will be changed and transformed. I pray your blessing upon each one of us. I pray, Father, that every spirit that opposes the ministry of the preaching of the word will be bound in the name of Jesus, but that you, Holy Spirit, will come and open our hearts, open our mind, open our ears, so that we will hear and understand who you are and what you want us to be. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. The word righteousness suggests to be conformed to the revealed will of God in all respect. God declares every believer righteous in the idea that He is acquitting him, that He is imparting His righteousness unto the believer. This is what God has done for each one of us. We were guilty according to God's justice, and God had to punish. God had to punish us. We were guilty of death because separation of God is death. But God paid himself our debt. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross so that we can have a freedom from sin, being freed from the wrath of God. This is the entire idea behind righteousness. And James in this passage is telling us how we can produce God's righteousness. We see in verse uh, 19 that, My beloved, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. If God has given us two ears and one mouth, it's most likely because He wants us to listen twice as much as we speak. To hear and to listen in the Bible have the suggestion of to consider, to pay attention, to obey. The word convey a sense of intensity. It's not just describing the physical or physiological activity that sound waves can have on our ears and brain, but it's a state of mind that will attentively listen, obey, and follow the direction. This is what we have to hear. We know that women speak between three to 4,000 words more than a man would do in one day. If a wife was to ask her husband, how was your day, he would say, good, and then go and do something else. If the husband asked the wife, how was your day, wives are, women in general, are known as amplifier. Men are known as synthesizers. How was your day? He will say, good. How was your day? She will say, well, this morning, after I took the kids to school, I talked with the principal, and he offered me to work with the PTP, and then after that, I saw Mrs. Smith. She had to go to the doctor, and she had bad results on the blood test. Realizing that she had to pick up the children at the daycare, I offered to go. And the situation goes on and 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 on, and, and we're just 12 o'clock, and she's still talking. Women speak more, women are more expressive, and women are in fact more emotional and sensitive to situation than men are. And this is probably why gossip is so destructive among women, and more destructive among women than it would be among men. Ladies, listen to what James is saying. Be swift to hear and slow to speak. Proverb 10.19 says this, In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. It's the version that says, sin abound. There is multitude of sin in multitude of words. And James is making the same correlation between being slow to speak and therefore slow to wrath. The more you talk, the more conflict you will have because not everything you say will be accepted by everybody who hears you. And their point of view may be different than your point of view and their idea may be different than your idea. And there is conflict and confrontation when people speak a lot.